Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Liotron campaign. This is episode 11. We pick it up from turn 72 in the spring season of 197. So, we ended last episode as we became Prince, which is our Duke rank equivalent. Uh, so we don't get any fancy titles, no duchies, because we are Prince. So we just keep our name. A little bit boring here, but eventually I think we'll just replace the Han Dynasty. So we are left with, you know, series of invasions from the West. They just keep coming because we're at war with everyone out West. And the Yellow Turbans have started to land on our side. So both very big issues for our temporary militia armies to deal with. We have three of them so far. We could pump out a fourth one uh, if we need to. Uh, but I think maybe our three can handle it right now. Uh, meanwhile, out East, uh, we are making a move against Stonelight. And our main issue is just to take down the fervor after taking them. Uh, Taotian's army seems to have failed uh, to take Longya. I hope they don't take the counties because we might want to just sweep through and get everything uh, now that we um, have the option to do so. There's no real competition. And if we look at who's at war with us, uh, Cao Cao's naval attack is something that we have to be concerned about in the future. Um, and then other than that, it's basically this huge chunk out west. Uh, the yellow turbans kind of dying off so we might not have to worry about them anymore and might have to start worrying about these warlords who's actually killing them off like Yuan Shao and Zheng Jiang uh, but that's our current situation we're just gonna jump back in and get our prince set up because we do have new openings um, this one grants food this one grants experience uh, both not super important the administrator position is super important uh, we basically have to pick out another income commander for ourselves. Right now we have one at... Actually, let's rank it by income. We have one at Chen, and it's actually ranked high on their income list, Yangzhou. And then our third one's in Dong. It's not that high on the income list because we're missing the iron mine, and because it's a peasantry and uh, industry uh, economy that's not fully built because we lack reform. So most likely we want to send someone to do um, more peasantry based income. So Beihai is a great choice. Um, Nanyang is actually a great choice too. Uh, because not only does it have a good e uh, industry and commerce base because of the Jade Mine. It's also kind of a frontier commander for us. This is always going to be exposed by this route because we don't intend to expand out west. So we could find a capable um administrator who's a sentinel who can defend here for us outside of that i think our options are loyang uh loyang's obviously a great choice because of the high peasantry boost by the lumber yard and don't lie don't lie is basically a food production town i don't intend it to be a economic powerhouse so we're gonna hold off on that Pengcheng is probably not a good option in the future either because of the temple. So it's basically between Nanyang and Beihai. Um, Beihai has the livestock farm. I guess the income value of Nanyang is just too great to ignore here. So we're probably going to go with Nanyang. Um, we got to find ourselves a capable sentinel that can defend there. So someone who's on our bench right now. Gongsun Du, maybe. Plus 10% peasantry. That's not what we want. Oh, uh, the guy who we tried to kill. Minus 5 public order. He doesn't contribute anything. I mean, our Bryn officers, or maybe. He doesn't have anything. Uh, like, brand officers would naturally have high um, income boost because of the 10% to all source. But he can't defend there because we need him on the field. That's the drawback. Uh, John L has the necessary skills for it already. But no traits. Yep. I mean, when we put Tai Shirts there, we had some traits, defensive traits. 
Yeah, but I guess he only had defensive traits. Hmm. We actually don't have a decent sentinel. Do we have any available in our potential recruiting list? Plus 5% from industry. It's not too bad. Maybe we should just give her a shot. She has high expertise as well. Alright. See how easy it is to get hired? No, we don't even know about her skill tree. Oh, but she has the 40% uh, commerce version. And the 15... Okay, so she has a perfect skill tree. And we can take a look at that now. She probably has the right side with the L shape right here. Ah, no. Middle L shape. Okay. But she picked up the two we needed. And she has an extra 5% for industry. That beats everything we have. And uh, she's not that expensive. And she's young. So, can't beat that. No, who has the sword? Taisha Tsui and Zhang Nao. Zhang Nao can take it off. Zhang Nao is not even doing administrative duties. Here, take a, take this one. Get some extra damage. And then we're going to throw your sword on her for extra expertise. We have uh, excellent armor for you. Horses, we can't do much about. Oh, uh, we have some income boosting ones, I'm sure. Minus 5% construction cost. Luo Jun. Well, I think Luo Jun's commander is pretty much full build. Yang Zhou. Oh, no, Yang Zhou is not full build. Hmm. Okay, he can keep that. Uh, what other good ones do we have? Reserve. Taishu Tzu has that one. Oh, this one. This one's super good. And Tai He's wasting it. Here. And lastly, just a plus six would be good. If we have that option. Oh, we don't have that option. They're all being used by the correct person. Okay, then in that case, we'll just take some resolve for population growth. Alright. Not so bad. Minus 26% cost. Huge 30% boost to industry, 40% boost to um, commerce, and also corruption goes away. So, everything good here. We just need to get more reforms so that we can actually upgrade buildings. Uh, but, so far, so good. Uh, we have three court positions open, but I don't know if I'm interested in filling them. Right, food production, experience gain, and yeah, uh, military cost decrease on recruitment. Okay, we're kind of done with the green for now. Uh, technically, we want to go down this route too, uh, because of the level 5... Um, government support building but it's just too many reforms one two three four to get here and along the way you don't get much food production uh, the peasantry boost is nice food production and then minus 10 percent cost for agricultural buildings it's nice but we kind of already build everything already so we can actually start considering maybe grabbing the school this turn and we can actually demolish the school and actually work our way towards uh, Onyx Dragons and also get some of the more industry and uh, peasantry reforms. Uh, we're growing in size, so stuff like this is going to come in handy too. My upgrade discounts. Yeah, let's start here because we have a building that's on hold because of it. And that's all the basic administrative stuff. Still a bunch to go through like the assignments um i think assignments we're just gonna give someone to take care of the fervor situation and don't as well we need to get all the fervor down we don't have a another commander i mean i don't blame it we have five commanders on duty right now um let's see if we can hire another one we can't okay so if that's not possible then we just have to boost income instead then 
Um, probably most efficient to boost income in Nanyang, just because we just gave it um, administrator, so the corruption's the lowest here. Um, 450 industry, 270 commerce. Okay. So Jashu eventually needs to come out into the field. We just got him. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can give him some levels. He's a level one strategist. What is he doing in our court? That's my question. He's a burned officer, so he needs to come onto the field. And we are, we were max army, but we got two new slots, so he could come out now. Hmm. Then maybe we just make construction cheaper somewhere. Uh, maybe don't lie, just because we got to shuffle the buildings quite a bit. So here you go. Come level up. Temple building right here. Fervor control first. Now we can demolish this. And we really could consider downgrading, but I think we're doing the military infrastructure route where we are going to leave it defending itself. All right, let's scout up ahead. This is a this is a Buran officer court too. Seems like we might have seven Buran officers. Lucky us. All right, we need to replenish the general, so we're just gonna go right here. We can't reach it anyways. We'll hit it next turn. Oh, we could march. Right. We can hurry this up. We just need to march to reinforcement range. Uh, that's not exactly reinforcement range. Okay, we're gonna starve out and then move them closer. Because once you have them under siege, you can move them really close. Like all the way over here. Now we can delegate. Oh, we're going to lose quite a bit of men because we're reinforcing. That's a shame, actually. We can definitely do this without losing anything. They're coming towards us. Yeah, we're going to fight it on the battlefield. We'll cut it out. It's just a uh, garrison retinue. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. That worked out perfectly. 52, 42, okay. Just occupy. Alright, now they can rest up next turn before making a move against. Or actually, we, can, we don't even need to rest up. We can just keep making moves and grab all these. Um, if we start making a move on Langya, we need to take the small city. Because without it, we can't really control the... Um, uh, fervor. Um, so we need to get, if, if we go this route, we just have to go all the way. And then we got to clean up here because we broke off our relationship a long time ago for this move. And then we'll take full control of the Shandong Peninsula here. Pretty soon. We'll get all the, all the territories here. And we can even consider going down against uh, Taotian, depending on how things go up north and whether his army will move or not. But having him as a neighbor doesn't hurt us. I'm really curious about this building though. It looks like. It kind of looks like a forge, but I could be wrong. It would be great if it's a forge. Alright. Um, we're not done with the buildings though. Let's see. We can't increase the taxes here. We bumped the tax up for our food. Now we can bump it down, especially since we have the farmland under our control. We really don't want rebellions anymore. Now we can't upgrade this until we upgrade this, and we can't upgrade this until we go tall. So let's first build this, and then we'll build this one up once we have that completed. Uh, rule none. Rule none is done. We don't have the reforms for it. All right, Yangzhou. Yangzhou also need to eventually go tall. We are kind of lacking food right now. We don't really need to upgrade the farmland necessarily. But this should be a decent upgrade. We do have a farmer, but we're not taking advantage of it. It's kind of annoying me. Let's do taxes first. And then once we have an open assignment slot, once the fervors die down, we can put our farmer to good use. I'm pretty sure we recruited a farmer. There we go. 
He also happens to be a burnt officer. What a talented gentleman. Um, well, he was also the spy that was sent to us by Tal Tal, but we captured him and he's willing to work with us now. Uh, we can leave him back onto the field. I don't know which army he's in. He's not in this one. He's in this one. Because we have another burn officer who could replace him. So we could send him back and summon him instead in this army. Uh, but we'll see. No rush right now. Our biggest issue right now is dealing with Ma Teng. We'll get to him. Alright, let's get this upgraded. Final upgrade for the farmland. Does this mean... Yeah, Yinchuans need to move towards a regional city and then we'll pop the military infrastructure, complete the build, and not worry about it after that point. Local forces is wrecking it. It's, it's, it's this army and this army. We'll take care of that situation this turn. And that's all our buildings, our assignments. Time to fight. Um, they're not weak. This army is really not weak. It's lacking cavalry. Which kind of renders, renders this group kind of useless. Um, it would been better if we had more Saber Militia. But we can't do much about it. We're going to reinforce with these generals. Because we need the generals to be fighting them. Yeah, the gold armor needs to come out and be useful. Wait, does he have... Oh, he picked up Bright. I was like, did he pick up Burn? That would be amazing. He's a healer, so I'm assuming he's going to have... We can't see. But you see the relationship. I'm guessing they're friends. They're all friends with her. And she's not friends with him, and he's not friends with her. So she has two icons and something like that. But it's going to be hard to kill them. That's basically the key point here. Alright, we're going to reinforce. And have them take on this fight. We just gotta hope our siege weapons can do enough damage to win us this fight. Oh, the AI think we can win. That's good. That's encouraging. Let's jump in here. Alrighty. Very swampy, but we can use these rivers to our advantage. We just want to pull back some distance, let our reinforcement catch up. Mm, I do want them to go through the river to get to us, so this little peninsula is going to have to do it. We don't have fire arrows. We don't have deployables. And yes, I finally turned off auto skirmish mode. Um, these guys need to beat them on the front line, absorbing enemy arrow damage. Now, even though the charge damage on these guys are a bit low, we're going to have to keep them in the rear just because they can, you know, flank back and try to get into a good, decent attack position. Uh, you guys can absorb most of the arrow by being in the front. Um, she has a bow. We'll try to put it to some use. Okay, he doesn't have the heal ability. That's good. The morale boost. This one hurts. This one really hurts. Alright, nope. Oh, she has recovery. Okay, so she's the toughest one to kill. They don't have friendship boost. I'm surprised. So don't hit her until we can kill her. Oh, man. She has the... Hmm. If we can duel her, take her out of the fight, then we could do it. But this is going to hurt. Hmm. Just try to avoid their generals for now. I think that's the basic rule for now. Zhou Tai... Yeah, I don't even know if Zhou Tai is strong enough to handle her. Alright, let's go. Alright, we need to har harass with these guys. That's their goal. They have, you know, they're going to have a great opening against the enemy range units once they get here. But first, we gotta try to kill as many as we can with our trebuchets. I think we have to isolate her in a duel. 
Or else you can just heal everyone. They're willing to duel him. I don't know if we can win, but I think we have to try. Alright, let's get a shot off. Nice and early. We have all the ammo in the world. Just no fire shots. Alright, they're changing formations. Killed off like 50 guys there. You guys need to hurry. He's not very strong. But she's also not very strong. I think Jotai is still stronger. Let's give him a shot. Alright, the water is going to slow them down. Alright, we're going to be picky. We only want her. No, not you. We want her. Wait, we already accepted you. We could also take out... Uh, we need to hit... We need to stop microing. We gotta figure out the general situation. She's strong. Wanna take out him. Yep. Right, our generals are coming from the back. They didn't send any spear units, so we have a pretty good opening here. Spread out. Shoot her. Come on, John L. Actually, he can take the John L can take the swords. Alright, looks like we're winning both. So I'm not gonna worry too much about it. There's other things to worry about. Peel off. We want flanks. Oh, oh, pull her back. John else got this. Alright, we can ignore that unit actually. Oh, we killed one. We killed the healer. Choked off. Okay, perfect. Okay, we're losing here. Let's get help. Send help. Yes, we'll take it. Pull the general away. That way she can actually show up to help. Yeah, Militia, the way they, you know, nerf the... Morale boost. He needs to get back on his horse, is what he needs to do. Alright, we're good. We stabilized. Alright, just make sure they route. Stay on that. Yeah, I think we're gonna win. No problem. Deuce armor. Charge. Ah, uh, we're routing. Alright. She needs to actually help. We'll just take out the archers. It's the most risk-free method here. 
All right, we're routing them. That's good. We just need an opening. Uh oh, she's in danger. Alright, their generals are all dying. Get back to your horse. Is he mounted? Now he is. Okay, finish them. Drone out, come help. Alright, gutted her. There we go. Good job. Yeah, we had much better generals. Zhang He, Zheng, uh, Zhou Tai, Zhang Liao. Route! We got this! Route! Alright, we won. Take care of that. Come on. We sent the general here. Alright, John, you have other things to do. You guys are overkilling this. Where are we actually hitting? Oh, we're actually hitting this group. Good job. Well, John L's here. I like how we're not capable of killing range units with our generals. They just have too many, you know, too many units on the extreme unit size. You know, 240 is hard to take out with just one guy. Yep, and they're routing us. Here, hit our own units. I don't care. We gotta finish this battle. They're the only one that's kind of stubborn right now. On that. Yeah, there we go. That's it. They were the last bit here. Alrighty. Could have been cleaner, but not so bad. Hmm, got a book. And a dog. And yeah, we captured him. We're gonna execute for the horse. Um... We probably don't need the money. Alright, nice level up. He's gonna be a battlefield guy for the future. He has really good traits for that. Um, Both routes are fine. Going for this or going for that. Maybe capture enemy generals first. They can't reach, but they can reinforce. That's the trick here. Uh, they can't even reinforce. Do we have the reinforcement? I'm not sure if we have the reinforcement. Um, let's get out of the way, because I think... Yeah, there we go. We're standing in the spot where they could reinforce. Alright, this will just delegate. Let's see if we can pick up some more replenishment. Oh, 1%. The money. Alright, that's done. Uh, they can rest for a bit. 
Uh, but our fight is not over. We still have Ma Chao here. Oh, Ma Teng. Uh, Ma Chao is in... Let's see. I'm trying to figure out. He's in the city. Okay. So we need to move our burn officers up. Mm, we don't need them in the fight. We have plenty of good officers here. Yeah, some of you asked to move Guan Yu into this army instead of having uh, Gong Sun Zan. We could do that, but then Guan Yu will lose out on his family buff with his wife. Mm. We can have them fight together. It still builds relationships. Right now, we're not at the stage where we're thinking about how to build them, just because right now we are not. We don't have. Um, we're not giving them a real retinue. It's just, you know, temporary right now. They're gonna run. Yep. But we can catch them. I think this counts, even if it's cross river. Yep. Alright, Ma Teng. Let's see what you got. Four cavalry, five cavalry. Yeah, you're not going to be strong enough to beat us. Alrighty. Reinforcement in the same direction. Perfect. Uh, we're going to go all the way back here. The fog is less than desirable. Um... It does mean our siege weapons, we might need to move them back at the beginning. Because I think it's better to meet at a middle point than get one unit all the way up. So we're going to just draw a line here. And say that's where we'll, we'll meet up. But then we're going to leave the middle open. So that the tribuches can actually move through unhindered. Alright, Guan Yu can stand here. Actually, Guan Yu can... Yeah, they can't see us in the beginning because of the fog and the distance, so... We'll be fine just putting all our units over here. And Tribuchets, we probably want to face them back because we're running them back. Alright, let's start. Run. Uh, we're going to put them right here. Let's call them one. These guys will be right in front. Uh, maybe to the one side. It's easier to deal with the others. Yeah, the Z Militia is going to get peppered by the enemy range units. We'll move a few in the front. And then we'll draw them back before the cavalry hits them. Yeah, Ma Teng's army has no shot. We have just so many units. Like, we have extra archers that I have no idea where we can fit in this formation. I guess we'll fit them here and ask these two to just bugger off into the front. Or actually, we'll keep some rear reserves in case the enemy cavalry comes from behind. They can charge us something that's not our... Oh, I'm confused. These all go from here from here to here. Oh. What an army. These guys We'll keep them on the front on the open plains to see if we can kite out anything. Yeah, this is a little slow, but expected. 
要不要见识一下我的本事？快点，准备好吗？挺住！嗯，刘备's wife is pretty beat up, and she doesn't have any good abilities. We're gonna keep her in the back. He has block arrow, so we're gonna keep him in the corner here. Liu Bei also has block arrow. We're gonna keep him this side. Guan Yu and Gong Sunzhan will go fight. Guan Yu will do the dueling. Ma Teng is his job, and Gong Sunzhan will take care of units with his morale deduction here. Does she provide anything? Look at the friendly quotes from the two students. Classmates, all right. Just hide you guys in here. Ah, oh, we left the gap open, but kind of filled up. Now they just have to wiggle their way through the units. Loose formation. Loose formation. <laughs> I don't know if it actually helps. Move. They're coming. All right, move forward. Close out. Okay. Just go here for now. Go here for now. Hmm. Ma Teng doesn't want to fight, but his wife does. All right, we'll go with our white horse cavalry. Go. They're coming to the left flank. Fill up the front. Guan Yu is winning. No, not surprised. See who we can kite out over here. Oh, she has the melee evasion buff. That's pretty strong, actually. And I think she has a really good armor and a really good weapon. But silver against gold. Oh, sorry, Macho. Your mom is dead. Get back on your horse. Ignore everything else. No, ignore everything else. Ignore the angry strategist. He doesn't hurt. Uh, get on your horse. Don't fight him. Oh, uh, we got armor buffed. Debuffed. Alright, right out, right out. Oh, actually, chase that. Alright, we're gonna chase that. Let's see. What's going on everywhere? Ooh. Oh, we are in battle, aren't we? Kite that out. You're on that. You're on that. Alright, their cavalry's hit our saber. That's fine. Just gotta protect our flank. Oh, no. Now you want to duel. Guan Yu. Doesn't want to duel Guan Yu, but want to do our sentinel. Picky, huh? He's got damage boost because his wife died. Yeah, we're not going to touch that. We have enough infantry to swarm him and kill him. Got to make sure there's no cavalry on this flank. Now they're just trading damages. 
Okay, that's not how we want to fight this. Take that. Switch. Little bit. Charge out. Uh, pull him back. Pull him back. You too. Alright, we need to set our guys out to actually fight. Go on, you can come back, actually. Here, you can take one of them. You guys stay safe. You guys got those. You can take that. Alright. Box them in. I know you're mad, but you're not gonna beat thousands of infantry here. Alright, you're on him too. I think we sent five units on him, so that's a thousand two hundred guys. Finished off everyone. Wait, wait, wait. You on that? Gong Sun Zan, come back. Wait, is Guan Yu. No, he has a horse. He's just slow. He's tired. How are you doing, Mon? Oh, he's beating back our thousand guys. Well, we're gonna send another thousand at you. Good luck. Look at that. Let's see how many is this. That's a good a thousand right here. Close to two thousand men. Here, you guys got him too. Oh, oh, friendly fire. Oh, we're not gonna catch Lancer Cavalry. Not gonna catch. Let's just try to catch him. We'll let him run. We'll see if we can capture him. Alrighty. Somehow we feel like the yellow turbans. With all these militias fighting for us. Uh, we do want to maintain somewhat of a relationship even though he is nemesis with us. And we're probably not gonna see much hall in this campaign. So good night. We'll take money. Alrighty. That was the major military threat there. I don't think they're strong enough to take the lumber yard. It's a level four lumber yard. All right, we're doing well. Uh, we need to give her actual retinue. As she's wait, she's over here already. Yep. She doesn't get along with someone. Wait, that's someone who's in our territory, right? Yep, it's not someone on our own side. That doesn't really matter. We can give her a full retinue of like. E archers and then she'll be fine but right now we're not under threat but we should probably prepare for it that's what I'm thinking big investment on you yeah she can go for these skills probably from here or here yeah we should probably go this way we should grab basically everything on this side Now, ooh, ooh, these might be really good on her. Oh, right, we're Chen Royal Guards. So the reason why these are really good on Sentinels is because they come with Charge Reflect by themselves, but you can also give them Charge ref uh, Charge Negate uh, from a Sentinel ability, 
And then since they're ranged, they get all the extra bonuses like fire arrows and uh, extra damage from the sentinel abilities too. This might be the best choice because the upkeep is super high and we can't really reduce it. So if we just have her as a constant um, you know, administrator here, this will be the best unit, I believe. Great armor. No range block chance, but since we're inside the city, we can probably play around that. Um, by having our city retinues, you know, soak up the enemy arrows first and reserve these guys for the counter push at the end. Yeah, we're probably not going to recruit these much on the field. So, here we go. And then immediately, recall. So, they're going to be here next turn, guarding the city. Perfect, perfect. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to go for those positions just yet. All right, I think we did everything. We finally end turn. That was the longest turn ever. All right, don't draw Chugong. Oh, Chugong is pretty much dead. Huh, you actually declared war on the Ha Empire. Okay. Our spy got recruited by Yuan Shu. Uh, might not work. He has a super good background against it, but we're still trying. Yuan Shu plus to kill Liu Chong. And guess history does not repeat in the summer of 197. We survive. Our spy got promoted to a general. Another honest trait pickup. Hmm. That's encouraging. Now all we need you to do is marry yourself into the family. Well, he has a wife. We just have to wait till he has a son. Look at this. He has only commanders and strategists. Makes no sense. And a eunuch. Okay, good luck with him. He's expanded a little bit. He actually took another town. That's impressive, to be honest. He's probably super short on food. Yep, minus one. Because he only has two cities, but no farmland to go with those. Okay. Well, we're just going to hang out here until we have a lot more points. Hmm, High Empire. So Taltian's army marched back in. I, I don't know whether that means they can take it or not. But over here, Zheng Jiang's ready, going hard at them. Yeah, Zhong Jiang is becoming quite a force. Alright, Zhang Bao is officially cut off from Zhang Jiao. Zhang Jiao still has pieces here. And pieces here. He overextended. They needed to clear the north. I mean, obviously the AI is not that smart, but... Um, Cao Cao's force is still here. Cao Cao actually has a main army marching up as well as we speak. It's very far away, but... It's on the way. Um, it feels like a shame to not expand. But it'll be super awkward if we do expand and Taotian grabs the city. Fishing port. What level is it? Oh, we can't tell by their retinues. Yellow turbines only get one retinue. Mm. I'm more interested in crushing them than crushing this. Uh, let's try it. Let's let's hope that Taltian doesn't take that. We can actually lock them in place. Right. Like, like so. Stop. Perfect. I think we're in the right county too. I'm not sure. I mean, he's... How do you count this? He's right in the middle. But we don't need his boost to take down this fishing port. We're not going to delegate because our general's health is just 
such a bad state. We're just gonna fight and cut it out. It'll be a clean fight. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Let's see what level is it. Level 3. Okay, that's pretty normal. Ooh, our leader leveled up. So this ability apparently is super good, like we mentioned before. We don't need fire arrows or night battle here. So we're definitely going this route. Perfect. Now, if they're willing to fight us, we're just going to retreat. But we could... Pop it out. So... I think it will shift us into reinforcement range. I'm not sure how it works, but... Let's hope they don't get killed. Hmm... Elsewhere... He's still alive. I don't know for how long, though. Zhang Zhao is going after him. That might be his last territory. Right. Lu Zhi might be on his last breath. But we said that so many times. I hope Zhang Zhao can finish him. I really want his characters. Don't come south. Take care of your north first. Alright, we don't have any rebels to farm. Taishan, is it fixed? Nope. Bei Hai, not even close. Don't lie, not close. Just can't do anything about that. But we're not going to get any rebels anywhere else. So where should we send our army? That's the question. We should probably stay in the north. The farmland's kind of a sacrificial piece here. It's like whoever wants to go at it will be able to respawn. We'll keep them together for now. This army is also suspicious. We don't know where they're trying to go. We have no interest in expanding, so we're just going to wipe out whoever threaten us. Yes, run deeper into our territory. Wow, we can't catch him. Okay, fine. We're gonna hunt them down too by going here, see where they run, want to run. Just messing up our public order a little bit by having so much local force. We really want this one. We need an entrepreneur, so we need a marketplace in a tall commandery. That has to be this one, then. Alright, Nayan, you're getting an upgrade. Friendly, friendly, not friendly. Alright, do we want to collect taxes one more time? Drop it to negative one. Fervor is going to die down slower if we upgrade this. So maybe we upgrade city first. We have the food. We can go for the administrative office and then we can upgrade that. I'm still not rushing this conversion. The yellow turban version is actually honestly better than ours. Minus the population growth part. But we're not losing population right now so it doesn't hurt. Alright, empty slot. Um... We're going to do administrative office here, help control our fervor, demolish this military infrastructure. Even though this is reducing fervor and also public order, it's just it's less useful than the military infrastructure. Rule none. Mm -mm. We, might, mm, we might send Zhang Nel's army, this one right here, all the way over here and recruit a militia army to defend the coastline from Cao Cao's army. That's definitely a possibility here. Let's prepare for that. Let's recall them. And we can also do a swap of the burn officers as well. Because we do need that farmer in the future. 
So, we have other things for you to do. Yeah, Talzal Sena is a really tempting spy. Farmer plus burn officers? No way we could have said no to that. I'm glad you get along, but we don't need your retinue. There we go. Alright, we're not upgrading here. No, we're waiting for administrator, and that's it. We can uh, go to next turn. Oh, where did they come from? So Tal Tal's army didn't attack us, but the old turbans are attacking us. That's not good. That means if we retreat once and then Tal Tal's army attack us, we're in trouble. Uh, please retreat towards our friends. No, they didn't do that. Crap. All right, Dong Zhuo and Bian Zhang join the war against the old turbans. Okay. Okay, I guess there is a relationship issue between our wife and this Baron officer for some reason. Um, that's fine. We don't have to stay in the same commandery. Um, so the army that he was falling kind of ambushed over here. I feel like we can just try to run into that ambush. Like, what's he going to do? We got ambushed. Guess who wins the delegate fight? We do. Right, we can start exploring options to get out of these wars. Right, we're gonna just have to go deep into the forest to chase them. We didn't wipe them out? Disappointed. It's militia versus militia. Oh. Quite decent. 51 though, a little old. We'll just release, I guess. Yeah, might as well just release both. Okay, they're off the field. That's good. Alright, you have no items. What are we doing to you? Actually, take this one. Um, in the future, you're still useless. Um, might as well help us capture generals. Alright, so this army, obviously, with the siege weapons, a little bit threatening. But even then, I feel like we can defend. We're going to just rotate our armies a little bit. Rotate them over. Nobody will get out of the commandery with them. We can hide this army right behind. And Guan Yu will come back over here. Alright, perfect in the east, no worries. Uh, in the west? Over here, things are heating up a little. I don't know what they want. The yellow turbans are just keep sailing, and it's making me slightly nervous. But good thing we withdrew this group, because we need them here. And I think we can actually give them a retinue because we actually need to fight here. Still the militia stuff. Not ready to commit to a full army of things. Uh, Zhang Yao has no charge negate. It's a shame. But he doesn't have any, you know, zeal boosting one either. So we're going to do some Z militia on him. It's weird, but it's weird either way. Most importantly, just some of these. They're just temporarily going to defend for us, especially the farmland. They need to be here. The city can be defended itself soon. Alright, Taoyuan's army didn't chase. That's good. The yellow turbans aren't strong, but... Yeah, we need to take care of both. They're blocking the way. Maybe, maybe we can get a delegate here, where we don't use up most of our movement. 
by going like say here have them fight them we delegate this fight oh don't run away because we can't defend the fishing port right now that's the problem and even though the farmland is decently strong it's just not fully replenished yet if we go here we leave this super exposed but if we chase them, they already ran once. Alright, let's try. I hope we have enough movement. And they've run once already, so they're going to be off the field after this fight. Well, we'll take that. 17%. Ah, uh, we can't get them. But we can be in the reinforcement range. We can lock them down. Yeah, we can lock them down. That works too. We just gotta hit backspace as we... Uh, no, we actually can't lock them down. Because we don't have enough movement to enter into their space. That's fine. If they take it, we'll just take it right back. Now, the fact that they threw an army at us probably means Tao Tian's going to have an easier time taking the small city. If he takes it. Yeah, it would be pretty sad for us with this fishing port here. Um, Alright, we're fine over here. Oh, Zhang Rang. Imperial father or mother? Father, yep. Okay, first instinct was right. Let's see, any items? Nope. Now you're 60. It's going to be really hard to convince me to hire you. Same thing applies to you. Ooh, 30 year old, level 1. No good traits, but no bad traits. I feel like she can probably replace like Cai He. Because Cai He is just a little bit too high level right now for us. I mean, he's still happy because we have so much happiness boosting items. But, like, he really doesn't bring us much. Yeah, he's just on assignments all the time. He's level 4 already. And she will replace him as an assignment character. Level 1. And a female. Oh, he's only 35. Hmm. He's expensive, though. Alright, I found my reason. He's off the team. Well, everyone has an armor. Fancy that. There, you're on the battlefield. You take this. Alright. We're gonna fire one to recruit one. No hard feelings. I hope she's cheaper. Wow, super cheap. Alright, definitely a great deal. Okay, let's see. Our spy's been promoted to administrator, moving up the ranks. All we need is for you to get married now. Jiang Yang's administrator. Okay. Any chance of that? Can we just kill the heir off? She's how old? We can't see that. They have four armies. And they have retinues in each, so it actually costs them money. Oh, well, he's positive food now. Okay. I hope you keep developing. We need you for the assassination. Alright, let's just get the builds out. Uh, I think we might have... Uh, over here. Hmm... We need to upgrade it one more time, I think, is what we need. 
We're investing a lot of food here. But Dong has potential. We can build a marketplace building. And that will get us our entrepreneur as well. This will give us our industrialist. We just need reforms. Alright, over here, Yangzhou, doing perfectly fine. Needs to be a tall build as well. Fervor is under control, right? Barely, so we can't afford this one. Let's get all the food production fixed first, and then we'll upgrade the city. Pop in the administrative office for fervor control. And then probably, uh, this is awkward with the tool maker, but we'll figure something out here later. It would have been a lot cleaner if it was just peasantry. Alright, I think all the army have moved. Yep, we could summon new armies, but I don't think we need to. Let's continue. Alright. Patient Tactician. Xiangqi player. Chinese chess. Challenger generals. Five satisfaction. Okay, sure. I mean, Sun Qian has really developed from us not liking him in the beginning to where he is right now. Like, he had such bad skill start points, but he's he's getting there. I mean, obviously, he could be better, but he's picked up quite a few traits as he do, does battle with us. Surprising high amount of expertise. Um... They look like they're going to land, but we're just going to wait one more turn. We have reach, so we can definitely recover. I don't think... I mean, this is obviously the weak point here. We have to wipe this army out. Just have no choice here. Alright, Taurin, we're not going to... Yeah, we don't need to see you on the battlefield. Are they still on the battlefield? Alright, what should we do with these Cao Cao's generals? On one hand, Cao Cao's never really going to give us peace. He's not bad. He's just old. Energetic's quite nice. It's like nice enough that I don't want him to have it. Alright, we'll do Cao Cao a favor. We'll heal the generals, although we are a little short on money. Alright, they're finally off the battlefield. Alright, we can recover back towards Beihai. Even though we should be taking this... Tao Tian hasn't taken that yet. Uh, that's super annoying. Alright, we need food. Yeah, Simons would be nice. The the farmer would really help. Taishan, it's not under control yet. Beihai is not under control yet. Yeah, we don't have a choice. I guess we can cancel Dong Lai's build up because it's kind of cheap at this point. And try to get a farmer in elsewhere. Alright, we're going to make it stronger to defend. Rashi. Yeah, that helps. That helps with fervor as well. And then this army will sit one more turn before we move out. Hmm. Wait two turns for the assignment. Actually, we can get this build. Pop the assignment in next turn and then build this for four turns. That should be best option here. And we're actually so poor that we can't upgrade anything. We have hit a little bit of economic dibs here with our recruiting. Especially that expensive recruitment of the retinue here. But it should be worthwhile. Alright, we can start asking for peace. 
I feel like they should have had enough. We can delegate this when I'm pre oh, we can't reach them. They're on the other side of the river. That's right. We'll ignore them. Oh, we had the trade route this whole time. Alright, High Empire. Because we're going to attack Telmal's old faction. We... I'm not sure if I can afford to give them a food. Yeah, it's not going to change anything. We could give them an Anzuri item. There is a ton that we're not going to use. Like this. Hmm, just curious. Peng Cheng. Mm, we're never going to have the farmland, that's the drawback. Guangling. Alright, we don't want any of that. How about cash payment? 500? Oh, they're rich. That's right, the High Empire is a piggy bank. Oh, so apparently you're supposed to hit make this work and it give you the max amount. Huh, let's try that. Right, but they, they just cancel out the other deal. Right, they don't take the ancillary item into effect here. Well, my guess is a thousand one hundred. Oh, very close. Twenty-five. There we go. I'll take that one. And peace deals. We did beat back quite a few people. All right, Yuan Yi, who we didn't really beat back very hard, but if he's willing to sign peace treaty, I am willing to take it. Here, take our other water clock and give us a bit more gold. Now, anyone else? I don't want to take yellow turbans. Is, I mean, ooh, if we peace out, we don't have to worry about them. Yeah, they won't attack us. But it feels so weird to peace out with yellow turban rebels. Yeah, sure. I caved. We've been using the rebels this whole time. No need to play coy. I don't see how Han Fu and Ma Teng still wants to fight. Sure. Keep fighting. Mm, we can get some more money from him. Okay, never mind. He doesn't even have a land. Anyone? Nope. Alright, that's fine. Happy with that piece that we got. Okay, so we don't need to go take care of Beihai. We can resume our attack on... So since we have time to heal... Just by traveling... We're gonna start moving in. We're gonna have them take the long route here towards the commandery and we'll meet up together there and also we're gonna crush this iron mine right after who did I move right defending the capital here all right we're all good let's continue all right Hanfu has uh, seen the light and is offering us a peace deal I just want to know if we can get more per turn or not Oh, definitely more per turn. Um, 190? One. There we go. Alright, we signed the peace deal. Hmm. That's two decent spying traits. Magistrate, 28 year old. Well, I guess we could afford another spy, doesn't hurt. 
Yuan Minmin, twenty-one year old. Shi Xie's faction. Yeah, not impressed. Bright. Could be a spy. Yeah, we had him twice. We hired him, sent him to be a spy. He got returned to us, and then we fired him because we had no use for him after he couldn't spy anymore. He seems to have picked up an armor, though. But I don't think that armor is worth recruiting. This is worth recruiting. I mean, we might keep him now as a spy. Yeah, we were thinking about throwing him out there as a spy. Now we're definitely recruiting him and might as well throw him out there as a spy. He came with the goods. That sickle could go on her. Been looking for this. The mathematician... I don't know who has... We have so many good followers that boost uh, range. He doesn't have a retinue, so I don't know if he needs it. Alright, that's that. Let's send him out. Who do we need a spy in? Let's see, who has potential? Maybe Sun Ce. He's not doing so hot, but there's definitely potential there. Yuan Shu is doing better than I thought. We might be able to get to fight him late game. Zheng Jiang, actually. But what can we do with her? We can't do much with her. Dong Zhuo survive the event chain, so he's going to be around this entire campaign. He'll die of old age. Cao Cao is impossible to spy on, so I guess Sun Ce would be the ideal target here. Alrighty. Um, there's a new army led by Dong Zhuo. Uh, he's actually pretty skilled. Historically only. In the game, not so much. Alright, we're going to have Liu Bei and Guan Yu go meet them. Burn officer will follow. Capital is fine. Let's go back towards in front. Yeah, Lu Zhi survived again somehow. I have no idea how he's doing it. And our western forces... Can rapidly move into attack position for Long Ya. Mm, we can siege with them. It will let them move farther. Alright, we don't really care about injuries here. We just want the territory. Uh, I don't want to trade off replenishment for population. Can we select the right army? There we go. They failed. Did they weaken the garrison? They didn't. Oh, man. What a failure. Anyways, we'll be picking that up. Perfect. As planned. We might as well upgrade that as we wait. Over here, we're just continue going to upgrade this to... I don't care about reducing enemy military supply per se. We get more public order this way. But we don't really care about population growth either here, because it's more about food production. Military supply and adjacent commandery. So that helps out Long Ya as well. It's also really cheap. Alright, let's go this way. 
All right, we have one assignment available. We're going to throw it into wherever we have the most green update looking forward to. Um, probably Yangzhou. With, uh, Yangzhou only has one. I remember there was a commandery with two. Uh, Chen, Chen has one as well, but the timing works out perfectly. So he doesn't like it, but he just has to be here for one turn. And then we'll shuffle him to another commandery. Taishan. Yeah, we can switch. We can. No, we can't because we don't have the reforms for it. But we want to upgrade this so we can have a marketplace. Now, now. I think it's time to upgrade this if we have money, which we don't have. That's just sad. Mm, I mean, once we scale back some of these uh, military expenses that we have right now, they're not that expensive. If you look at it, it's what? 1,300 per militia army? Yeah, but we're going to scale back eventually and actually build some decent armies. Right now, it's just temporary. Got to crush that army first. All right, we can't build much. I don't want to mess up the public water here. I guess going to minus one doesn't hurt us that much. The problem is the fervor situation. Right, we're barely staying afloat. If we build that, we're going to go back to negative. And I don't want to go back to negative. So that's it. Let's continue. Alrighty, uh, we're going to end our episode here. Um, it's a new turn. We got our settlement upgrade. Great. Living in harmony. We have Dashu still sitting on the bench. Uh, we're going to come back here next episode and just pick up our expansion plan here. We're going to take out both of these commanderies and pretty much wrap up the Shandong Peninsula here. We have a nice safe border to the north with Yuan Shao. Uh, we can probably improve our relationship with him a little bit. Right now it's pretty good, um, but it could be better. And elsewhere, we're just going to continue defending here. Dong Zhuo has another army here. Ma Teng has two armies, which is going to wipe them out. Try to get them into sign a peace deal with us. Elsewhere, we're just going to save money, build up. And then after we clean up here, we can cut back expense a little. Send our main army back out west. And uh, save a little bit of cash to build up our commanders that we just got. Uh, right now, we have too many assignment slots that are just being used to take down fervor. Once those open up, we can boost income and things should uh, even out. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode and see you all next time. Bye.